Looks like you get some Haichu mango candy. Thanks, bud. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And we're in the garage, so you know we're gonna be talking about a product or a bike today. And we're not gonna be talking about this new bike that we got. We actually got a product from a guy. Uh, his company's name is Luminade. And it's some turn signal kits for the Super 73 that's sitting over here. So we're gonna pull this bike out. We're gonna be working on it, getting the turn signals. Front and back, it's gonna come with a bat little battery pack. Um, we're gonna get in the box right now so I can show you what it comes with. I'm gonna give you my opinion on the price, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it right now. All right, so after unboxing it, this is everything that it comes with. You get your instructions from Luminade. Um, looks like some detailed instructions. We're definitely gonna need these so we can see exactly how they go on. So we're not gonna throw those away yet. You get your battery pack. Um, I believe this is a 3000 milliamp, I believe, three amp hours for this little battery pack. This is gonna be the charger for the battery pack. So when it uh, dies, you need to bring it into your house or you can just leave it on your bike, hook this up to the wall and just bring this up to the bike. You got some washers. Then we got some zip ties. Then we got all the turn signals. All the turn signals are in here, uh, nicely wrapped so they don't get damaged or anything like that. Then we got this plug. This plug looks like it goes to the battery pack. And then this is gonna run to all your, your wiring, which I believe it goes to this and then all these will go to all your little turn signals. The middle is neutral, so the turn signals won't go on, and then going up on this one will be left, and then going down will be for the right. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, the way this kit goes on is you're gonna use these little holes if you have the stock headlight on the RX anyway. It's gonna use these little side holes. You got one on this side, one on the other side, and then you're gonna use these holes on this side. I believe it's gonna be these big ones. These actually might be where the washers go. I'm not sure if it uses a small one, but I'm pretty sure it uses the big one, but um, we'll check it out once we get into it. All right, so I was about to start putting this kit together, but then I realized it's probably best to hook it up before I even put it on the bike to make sure everything works. And it should be super easy, so I'm gonna get to that and show you guys. Make sure you always look for these connections and make sure you don't bend none of the pins. Always look for the arrows. Man, that slid on super easy. I'm actually used to these being pretty, uh, pretty tight. All right, so we got those connected and that's it. That's all you needed to do. It's just running the wires, I think, is going to be the hard part. Yep, hitting those. It looks like both of those are working. These two work also. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. The only thing you need to make sure is that they do label them, which is cool. If you guys can see that, he has two little white lines, and there's on. it's on two of them, so you know exactly what side that's going to be on. And those two lines correlate to this actual switch, the two lines on this switch. So the first thing I'm gonna get to installing is the handlebar piece. I wanna see where I wanna put my switch at first. So I like to sit on the bike and get an idea of how I like it. Also have to move a lot of stuff because I have a 72 volt system. All right, so this is how I installed mine. I had to move my 72 volt uh, controller. And if you guys don't have a 72 volt, you might be moving this little display depending on how close it is. You want it as close as you want to the handlebars because you wanna be able to do your turn signals right out the bat. You're not gonna be messing with the display like a lot. You know, you're just gonna turn it on to make power. That's all you really need this thing for. And then when you're going up in modes, you can just use your thumb, but you're not gonna be changing modes as much as you will like turn signals would be easy to do. You don't wanna ever have to take this hand off and uh, have this like way, way over here. You know what I'm saying? So now I just gotta take the rest of this wire and figure out how I'm gonna route it because if you didn't have this big old thing that I have, then you can easily wire it into the bike like under here. It's gonna be a little bit harder with having uh, no space in the middle. One thing I wanted to point out real quick, if you didn't see it earlier, see how this has a double line? This controller has a double line. So that means I want the right hand side because when I hit down, I want it to be for the right side. And when I hit up, I want it to be for the left side. So that means this double one, when I hook it up to the front, that has to go to this side. So just keep that in mind when you're installing this kit, depending on how you want to do it. Or if you have this flipped upside down, then you might want to do it the opposite way. You could do it however you want. Just know that the double means it's either going to be for the left or the right. You need to keep them on the same side. Let's take these out and see how they look. Cause they are nicely wrapped. He did a very good job. Oh man, these things are clean. These things are hella clean. Okay, so they unscrew. This is why we're gonna check the instructions. <laughs> Cause I was gonna unscrew this, but then I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute, it's not coming all the way out or is it? Got it, I see how this is gonna go. I see exactly how this is gonna go, okay. 
All right, so I have found out how to do these because you have to get this inside and all the hardware is already on the wiring, if you look. So you have to pull all this off, make sure you keep it in order exactly how it goes. And then this is gonna go on the inside of your bike. We'll go just like this. And then you need to get all the nuts and everything back on this side and you're gonna have to screw it from the inside. And then you can adjust these however you want. Now the washers that were in that kit that I showed you in the little baggie, you don't need those. The only time you need those is if you're using it on a fork mounted headlight. So if you have any type of uh, cane built headlight or an aftermarket headlight, that's the only time you need those washers. So you do not need these washers for this. All right, so that's how they're gonna sit. This little thing is gonna flash this way. I'm gonna take this off because you have to get to the little screw down there that I was showing you and there's no way that I can get something down there. So I'm gonna take this off to make it easier so I can get a wrench down in here. You might be able to do it without it, but I'm just gonna make sure it's tight and on there because I just wanna be done with it once, not have to worry about those coming loose. All right, so uh, once you have that taken off, so much easier to get to. You leave one washer that already comes on this, on this side. Then you have the locking washer right here. Then you have the nut, which you can expose once you pull this back. And then you just need to get a wrench, tighten this down, make sure that these are facing the front because this is the part that lights up. So make sure it's completely facing front before you tighten all this down. And this is how mine looks after I got it all done. And check this side out. You can see exactly how we did it. Just gotta put this back on. And that's pretty much it. So we got the front on. I had to turn the bike around so I can actually see because I was kind of working in the dark. And now we had to take the side panel off and I ran this cable down here. It's pretty long. You can see how uh, much wire we have. Have it coming this way, comes out to here. So the battery pack can be installed underneath the seat if you really want. All right, so as I was installing the back, it's a little hard to get these back ones on because that nut is literally right in between this crease. I don't know how well this camera is picking it up. All right, cool, I got the backs on. I kind of lined them up the best way I could. Hopefully you guys can see that. I was trying to face them barely slightly like upwards just because I want traffic to see it because it's gonna be a small little bike on the road. So I forgot to mention that this thing actually comes with an extension, it was in the box. And then that means you can, you can really put this box wherever you want. So I'm thinking of putting it back into the front and putting it in this enclosure. The only bad thing is to turn on these lights, you have to turn the switch on so you get power to the lights. Um, so I'd have to figure out a way that would make it easy and accessible. So I still think it'd be easy, easier to put it behind here because then I can always reach behind here, turn on the switch, and then when I need to charge it, it'd be easy just to plug in the charger and go. But let's make sure they work. So turn on that battery pack. It's almost fully charged. It's only one bar down. So hitting that down, looks like it's doing the other side. If I hit this side, you should be able to see it. There we go. Real nice and clean. I like that look. Definitely have to see how it looks at night though. Definitely need to see how it looks at night. That's clean though, super clean. I feel like this one needs to go a little bit higher up. Ah, it's really hard, like once you kind of bolt these down pretty hard, it's trying to move this a little bit so it looks more pointed up, but that's dope. That's super, super dope. I wish these are the same turn signals that came on the Onyx RCR because those stand out. Those look like actual turn signals. You can see what side they're on, I love them. And underneath, I ran out of black zip ties, so um, I had to do what I had to do, but I used some zip ties. I need to get another one uh, to hold this in place. I put the controller, like I said, on the other side of this piece, and the reason why I did that, it's not the best, trust me. Um, I can see the indicator on this side right here. It has a little bar system, so when I turn this on, it lights up green, kind of shows me where the charge is at. And when I unhook this, which let me turn the power off first, when I unhook this cable, this is where you plug in the other connector to charge it. So makes it very easy if I need to charge it because if I would have stuck it in here, I would have been screwed on charging it. I would have to take this whole side panel off every single time. But we need to see how these look at night. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Let's get a little bit of light in here so we can at least see something. They're, they're bright. They're definitely bright. 
I don't think they're the brightest thing ever, but you know what I want to do is I don't want to make any judgment yet. I'm very curious to know how long the battery lasts for, but I'm going to have to check that out on their website to see if the guy put that information on there. I figured they should last for a very long time because you don't use your signals 24 seven, but also if you leave the battery pack on all the time without them working, I'm pretty sure the battery pack would drain down, but let's get on the road at night and we'll finish this review. All right guys, so it is nighttime, technically one in the morning, but uh, it was busy today. So the first thing I have to do, um, since I put my controller right here, or the battery pack I should say, um, see how I can see all the green lines, it will tell me, so we have four out of five. And I'm hoping this will get, be a good test if it's gonna slide back and forth because it's not really set up long ways. I didn't do a zip tie long ways, but that's my own setup. So you always have to turn that on before you get on the road and you can make sure that both of these are working. I wanna get a uh, distance test, so we'll go and use it a little bit while we ride and then we'll pull off to the side and I wanna walk a distance from it and uh, see how it is. Pretty clean setup though, I will say. It'd help if we turn all the lights on. I will say if we did have to compare this to the Onyx, if you guys have seen how the Onyx is set up, um, that is a lot nicer um, because you do have it on both sides and you have like a middle ground. This is, you're pushing down for right and up for left. Or you can have it the opposite way, however you set it up. All right, so uh, use my turn signal coming in here. I was a little late. Let's use my turn signal around the neighborhood. Left. Right. I feel like the main thing you're gonna have to worry about is when you do turn, since you're not gonna be used to having turn signals on a Super 73, because none of them obviously come with the option, um, is remembering to turn it off. And if you're not someone that's good at remembering that, uh, you, you'll get it, but you're gonna be uh, mad at yourself from time to time. Okay. This will give an idea with the brake light and everything. So let's do, let's do this one because I don't want people to think that I'm a uh, turn into the street. So, all right, so let me, let me get a little closer so you guys can see. It looks very, very clean. It, it's definitely brighter than the brake light without the brake light being pressed. So that actually looks very, very good. No problems with that. Now let's kind of walk away from the bike, kind of get an idea of how bright they are. You can definitely see those. I'm not gonna walk 50 feet away from the bike or anything like that, but you can definitely see those. Now, can someone see them way, way behind you? Probably not, but I don't have a problem with that. You can get the option of getting the extension or the three, the three way, uh, it's a Y splitter, and that will basically allow you to tap into your rear brake. And honestly, I would highly suggest that over the battery pack, and you know why? Because when are you gonna use turn signals on your Super 73? You're gonna use them at night. You're not really gonna use them during the day. I mean, unless you're that paranoid that you're riding in the street, you know, and you want people to see where you're turning. I don't think during the day people are really gonna see you, especially on something like this. So I'm pretty much gonna be using this bike at night. And I straight up feel like it's just not worth it to do the battery pack. I would just tie it into the regular lights that are on the bike. I know it might sound stupid. You're on an e-bike. Why would you want turn signals for it? You know, like it's just another cool accessory just to kind of, I don't know, like it's cool. You're, you're technically getting more street legal. You can let pedestrians or cars, you can let them know where you're going. doesn't matter if on a bike trail and it's turning on this way, you can at least let people know like where you're going. And at night, since I ride mine in the street, this is a huge safety thing for my own safety. So people know what I'm doing. And it also doesn't slow down traffic either, if you think about it. So when I'm coming up to, uh, not a four-way stop, but I'm coming up to a light where you can either go right or left, and it's just one way going that way, and you have the green, away, uh, green light, and people have to wait for you coming, they don't know if you're going straight or turning, so people have to wait for you. So uh, this is a great, great idea. Now, we can talk about price if you want. <laughs> um, so if you just want the rears, you're looking at 160 bucks. And if you want both front and back, you're looking at $200. I'm not gonna lie, that's expensive guys. So if, if you don't have the money for it, I totally understand, I'm with you on that too. I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, the $200 is worth it. Now the guy puts together a very, very nice kit. If I wasn't recording this video for you guys, it would have probably taken me 45 minutes probably to complete the install. 
it would have probably taken me 30 to 40 minutes if I didn't have the side cover. And that's being legit. I would highly say that I just feel like it's a little bit overpriced. I feel like if it was around 150 bucks, because the kit is very, very nice, plug and play, that's worth it to me. 150 bucks all day for the front and rear. But at the same time, I don't know how much, you know, this guy is uh, spending on this whole kit. Because obviously he wants to make a profit too. And, you know, you want to try to help people in the community and stuff. So I get it. But is it worth that type of money? That's up to you. So I wanted to check out the front with the headlight. And it doesn't look that bad. I don't know how well it's coming over the GoPro, but it doesn't look that bad. People can definitely tell where you're turning if you're uh, sitting at the same four-way stop or the red light. 100% people can see you at night. I don't know about during the day though. Highly recommend the guy though. Uh, super cool, reached out to me, wanted to review these and just give my honest opinion. Um, there's no discount code or anything like that. It's just if you want to support the guy and you're not a DIY person, I would say just get it. I mean, if there's other options that you find that are cheaper than cool, I'm not gonna hate on that, you know? Like, it's your money, guys. You know, you can do whatever you want. But if you guys wanna support this guy, Go check it out. The links are going to be in the description. I'm loving the fact I got turn signals on this bike. And I really appreciate that guy right there in the community making stuff for us. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys appreciate the video. You know how we do on these. I don't just review it in my garage the whole entire time. I like to get on the bike and ride it. Even though it's an accessory piece, you know, it's like a lighting mod. I still wanted to get out here and ride it. See how it looked in the nighttime. But see you guys. Again, check the links in the description. Go support these guys.